Hi everyone, our discussion for today is all about relation and function. Relation is defined as a rule that relates values from a set of values domain to a second set of values range. It is also defined as a pairing of two quantities as ordered pairs x and y, where x could also be referred as input independent variable domain or abscissa and y could also be referred as output dependent variable range or ordinate. Relation can be presented in such ways. We have set of ordered pairs. So we have here 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 1, 2, which makes a set of ordered pair. In the given example, the domain or the x values are 0 and 1. 1, while the range or y values are 0, 1, and 2. The other one is through mapping diagram. You may notice that the x values on the, or the domain in the set of ordered pairs above are on the left side of the diagram, while the y values or the range are on the right side of the diagram. And to map these values, the domain 0 on the ordered pair has a range 0 as well. So you're just going to map it. On the second ordered pair, the domain is 0 and the output is 1. On the third ordered pair, the domain is 0 and the output is 2. And lastly, the domain is 1 and the output is 2. So that is how you do mapping diagram. The next one is the types of relation. We have one to one where each value in the domain is related to only one value in the range. Next is one to many where in each value in the domain is related to multiple values in the range. We also have many to one where in the multiple values in the domain are related to one value in the range and lastly many to many where in multiple values in the domain are related to multiple values in the range let's now have function function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to only one value in the range examples ordered pairs so we have here 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, 5, and 4, 3. So how are we going to determine if a set of ordered pair is a function? Again, according to the definition of function, domain is related to only one value in the range. So what do you think? Is this set of ordered pairs a function or not a function? Okay, it is a function. Why? Because for you to say that a set of ordered pairs is a function, there should not be a repeating value of x or much more easily, each domain should only appear once. And in our example, each domain only appeared once. So we have here 2, negative 1, 3, and Four. How about in the second example? Okay, it is not a function because there is an x value repeated which is 2. So that is how you distinguish if a relation is a function or not. Let's now distinguish if the given mapping diagrams is a function or not a function. First example, function or not a function? Guess? Okay, pay attention to the x values. And let me ask you this. Does each of the x value in the domain is related to only one value in the range? Let's check. So we have your domain 1, or x value 1, 
which only has one output which is 1 2 only one output which is 3 3 only one output which is 3 also 4 only one output which is 4 and 5 only one output which is 4 as well and yes since each value in the domain is related to only one value in the range then we can say that this relation is a function how about the second example you may notice that the x value for here is related to two values in the range which are 4 and 5 so we can say that this example is not a function now how can we determine if the given graph is a function okay it is through the vertical line test if the graph and the vertical line test only meet at a certain point then we can say that the graph is a function but if the graph and the vertical line test meet at two or more points then the graph is not a function and please take note that you can put the vertical line test anywhere on the graph let's now have function notation often in practical applications the value of one quantity depends on the value of another example a person's salary may depend on the number of hours worked and the total production at a factory may depend on the number of machines used. Just like in x and y, the y value depends on the x value. Let us now do the function notation mathematically. For example, we have here the function y is equal to x squared. And we have here the input and the output are the x and y values. Let's imagine this function as a machine, that if we substitute the x values in here, what would be the output? Okay, let us substitute 1 in the given function y is equal to x squared, so we'll have 1 squared. After substituting, what will be the output? So we have 1 squared, and 1 squared is equal to 1. How about the second one? So we have 2, substituting 2 to the function y is equal to x squared, we'll have 2 squared, which is equal to 4. And lastly, we have the input 3, substituting 3 to the function y is equal to x squared, we'll have 3 squared, which is equal to 9. Functions are often given names such as f of x, g of x, h of x, etc. Example, given the functions f, g, and h, so we have here f of x, which is equal to x squared plus 2, g of x, which is equal to x minus 1, and h of x, which is equal to x cubed. And we are asked to find for f of 3. And to solve for f of 3, we're just going to substitute 3 to the variable of function f. Substituting 3 will have 3 squared plus 2 and f of 3 is equal to 11. Next we have g of 5. We're just going to substitute 5 to the variable x of the function g. Substituting 5 will have 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. So g of 5 is equal to 4 and lastly we have h of 2 we're just going to substitute 2 to the to the function h and uh, substituting 2 will have 2 raised to 3 which is equal to 8 and that is how you solve by substituting values in a function thank you for listening and i hope that you learned